at the end of this video, you will be able to calculate variance and standard deviation for grouped data. Understand this, consider the following given data. Find the variance and standard deviation. Step number one. When giving data, decide on a considerable class interval to accommodate the given data. Looking at the smallest number being 50 and the highest number being 78, let's consider a class interval of 5. Here, we look at 50 to 54, which is 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 a class interval of 5. At 54, the next one will start from 55 to 59, then 60 to 64, 65 to 69, 70 to 74, and 75 to 79, though the last number is 78. However, we we'll consider a class interval of 5. After considering the class interval, next, a step 2. Draw a frequency distribution table like this. Step 3. Fill out the frequency distribution table heading starting with class interval, frequency, midpoint, frequency multiplied by midpoint, frequency multiplied by midpoint square, lower boundary, upper boundary, cumulative frequency, and cumulative percentage. However, in step 4, we are going to consider just class interval, frequency, midpoint, FM, and FM square. Why? Because for variance and standard deviation of a group data, this is just only what we need. Hence, fill out the class interval first. The class intervals we obtained, we'll just fill it up in each row. Step number five fill out the frequency for 50 to 54 we got one two three hence we have three here from 55 to 58 we got one two three four five six hence we got six here from 60 to 64 we got one two three four five hence we got five here from 65 to 69 we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hence, we got 6 here. From 70 to 74, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hence, we got 8 here. And from 75 to 79, we just got 1, 2. Hence, we got 2 here. Okay. Next, add up the frequency. 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 2 and the sum of the frequency is 30. Number 6. Compute for the midpoint which is also known as the class mark. Hence, we are going to have the first row is 50 to 54 and the midpoint is going to be 50 plus 54 divide by 2 and our answer is 52 hence we got 52 here the next row is 55 plus 59 divide by 2 and our answer is 57 hence we got 57 here you need to do same to obtain the other rows next is the frequency multiply by the midpoint that is, in the first row, we got 3 multiply 52, and we got 156. Next is 6 multiply 57, and you got 342. Next is 5 multiply 62, and you got 310. Hence, compute the same for other rows. Next, 156 plus 342 plus 310 plus 402 plus 576 plus 154 and we got a total of 1940. Next, step 8. Compute for the frequency multiplied by the midpoint square. Hence, we are going to square 52 
and multiply it by 3 and we get 8 1 1 2 next we are going to square 57 then we we'll multiply by 6 and we get 1 9 4 9 4 hence square each of these and multiply them out and you are going to fill out the table of fm square next you add up each of the rows you're going to get one two seven zero nine zero next step nine compute for the variance this is the formula for the variance to compute for the variance we just need the total of each column the summation of fm square is this minus summation of fm is this however this is squared everything divide by summation of f which is this and is 30. next everything is dividing 30 minus 1 hence compute this first then subtract from this then divide by this and our variance is 56.44 step number 10 compute for the standard deviation the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance which is 56.44 and the standard deviation is 7.51 this is statistics try out this assignment to locate other videos follow the link on the screen next topic is quartiles for grouped data i will see you in the next video